Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. I have a question. Are you tired of not progressing in the first Descendant? Are you tired of having a weak Descendant or dying at boss fights or not having enough damage and you see and constantly hear about one shot people one shotting bosses and doing tons of damage and being super strong and yet you're trying to figure out what the hell is wrong in my build. Well in this video I'm going to show you how you can you know get to a point where you can kill Devourer in around two minutes without any issues i have been playing bunny for over 100 hours i have a good feeling about the descendant i played around with different builds right now i'm still experimenting but i've got to a good point where i thought all right it's time for me to upload my guide for ultimate bunny and what i like and dislike about her in this video i'm going to walk you through two different builds one of for mobbing and one for bossing in the end of the video i'm also going to mention a couple of modules that i think that are best in slot and are a game changer for bunny that you must acquire 100% if you really want to crush it. If you like this video, I would really appreciate your like and subscribe. Unfortunately, these on my channel show that 98% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed and I really want to grow as a creator and push more content out so I'd really appreciate your support. If you do so, you're forever in my heart. Thank you very much. Let's cut the BS and let's get straight to the point. Let's talk about the reactors in a second. I was fortunate enough to have a very good reactor role in the beginning. I started, I unlocked hard mode and literally the second reactor that I got was this one. So let me know in the comments below <laughs> if you hate me or not because of this. But basically, um, this is not the best, 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 best uh, reactor, but I'm sticking to it because of two reasons. One of it, uh, one of it is uh, it has Thunder Cage, and Thunder Cage right now is my main weapon. Um, it has singular skill, power, boost ratio, uh, which is boosting, um, you know, exactly your third ability, the most damaging one, most important one. Now, again, this is not a perfect reactor but i still rock with this one because i haven't been grinding for other ones yet um and they all the time get out of rotation so one week you have general rounds um that has uh, fusion one week you have general rounds that have singular uh singular skill um reactors right and depending on what kind of weapon you're rolling, if you're going for Wave of Light or if you're going for any other ultimate weapon, go for it. Uh, you know, on hard mode, by now most of the people you should know that if you go on your map, if you click F or R3 on your con a controller, you will get this menu and over here you select what kind of reactor you're looking for. And currently in this week's rotation, it's Monday today. So they just re um, changed and right now for electric we have singular uh, on general rounds. So this is basically the rotation for this week. Uh, this is about the reactor. Basically what you would like to look here for is if you have any skill, skill singular or fusion skill power boost ratio. Skill effect range, not the best role but it's also good. Um, Ideally, here you could look for some kind of critical hit rate if you can find, or skill duration, skill cooldown is good. Um, skill critical hit damage, in my opinion, is probably the best best bet you can go for. Those are just some random mods, which I need to, by the way, just throw in the can. But uh, this is how you go for. Now, if we talk about components, uh, there is a few components that you go for right now. I don't even have my optimal build set up over here. The stats that I look for right now is double roll stats, like double HP, double defense and stuff like this. But what I, what I am experimenting lately is I'm looking for, let's say a very good def defensive roll one, for example, like that gives me a bunch of defense, but also some kind of resistance. The reason why um, I will be talking about this in the bossing uh, section of, you know, my build is I don't roll with antibody um, resistances anymore. In the beginning, I used to use those, but right now I don't have a need of these. Uh, so right now I'm experimenting a little bit 
with you know the types of resistances that i can get from these however again you would like to get for double rolls those are not perfect by the way again i, I said those are not my perfect ones i even usually sometimes forget to to change this out and I go and do boss fights with my Kuiper and module drop rate modifiers. But I'm still cool. I'm still cool. As you see in the beginning of the video, in general, just look for your double rolls for something that is going to boost your survivability in here. Um, I really haven't even really, really tried to grind for specific ones. I just rolled with the ones that I have and it has been working for me perfectly so far. Um, Probably it makes sense for me to sit down and optimize the, those a little bit. But whatsoever, I don't have any problems, any issues with any of the content in the game right now. So this still works. Before we get started, uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to show you the mobbing build and the bossing build. This is a build that I'm I have a slot for experimenting here. Um, now, if you if you noticed, I have invested into my bunny overall. I've activated uh, energy activator on her. I have uh, a bunch of activated catalysts. Uh, by the way, if you're very new to the game and you're looking for how you can grind activists and catalysts uh, and energy activators, um, those are one of the items is this one that is basically putting polarities on your plots. And over here, this is basically decreasing by double the amount of capacity required uh, for all these modules. As you can see right now, for example, this module cost me only six capacity because it's in a polarity slot. So ideally, you know, you really start to feel an impact uh, on the descendants and also on the weapons the moment you start investing into those catalysts. Those are really important and this is one of the most important thing that you need to um, have as, as a takeaway from this video. In general, catalysts is one of the most important aspect and item in the game. And you will need tons of them, really tons of them. So the earlier you focus on your grinds to get as much as these of, of these, the better for you because it will take you some time, especially to get the crystallization catalyst freaking blueprint that, sh that says that it has a 20% drop chance, but it drops only once a week. It's just nuts. So go straight to grind these. You will need them all the time. Keep in mind, whenever you are putting one polarity, whether it is on your descendant or on your weapon, this is going to reset the level either of the weapon or of your descendant. That means that you need to get back to leveling if you want to put another one. So right now, I'm currently, I have this set up. Um, I will use two more catalysts on my ultimate bunny and then I'm done forever. Right now, I don't even have the need for this because my per my build is just perfect enough. I would rather use my catalysts on other descendants to try them out or on weapons. Uh, but down the road, I will use two more slots over here and I will keep one free for rotation in case I need to change some resistances if they release new modes or new difficulties or I really really need the resistances and stuff like this but let's get to the build let's talk about the modules first of all now the build for mobbing this is going to be working exactly the same if you have a regular bunny I'm showing you ultimate bunny but regular bunny is exactly the same uh, the only difference is that the the ultimate bunny comes with already uh polarity I, I don't remember was it one or two polarities already assigned to the descendant um let me know in the comments below i forgot i don't know how many polarities but it comes with polarities already a couple of them or one already assigned uh to the descendant which basically means that you're you know saving a couple of crystallization catalysts no big deal this part with the crystallization catalyst, you can make up for it. Now, the other thing that, that is very different uh, between the regular bunny and the ultimate bunny is that the ultimate bunny has two modules for the time being, two modules that are ultimate bunny exclusive only. One of them is high voltage, which is 
which I will talk about later down the video, and electric charge, which I believe uh, could be complete bullshit module. I don't know. I'll, I, I don't, I'm not even interested in it right now. So those are the only differences. The rest of the modules you can use on regular bunny as well. Let me explain you the kit. You have on the bottom, if you can see, um, you have two bars. The top bar is your MP bar. This is the mana bar and the bottom one is electricity bar. So the way your skill work is you have all, all of your skills except the second one, you're running this one. This requires mana for you to run. And as you can see, the mana bar is draining and the electricity bar is building up. So the bread and butter about her kit is that once you have enough electricity, you per turn this on and you start to do insane amount of damage. You're basically, most case scenario, you are going to be one-shotting most of the mobs and you will never ever have to worry about even completing and shooting mobs and whatsoever. Uh, right? The damage will go up gradually uh, the moment you start having better reactors uh, and you start also investing into some modules. Now let's talk about what makes this build so good. Now, Nimble Fingers is going to give you 25% skill reduction, self-explanatory. This makes our skill, that, mean, that means that um, we will have enough cooldown reduction, meaning a perfect, a perfect mobbing build over here is when you can immediately activate the third skill after it runs out. This is a perfect cooldown rotation, meaning you always have your third skill up and running. And I have it on right now. And if you if you see it, the, the wide bar continues going up. And while it goes up, it is basically recharging. And this is the cooldown, right? Right now we are waiting, 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 waiting. Like perfect, the perfect case scenario, like I said, is the moment you the skill ends right now and I don't even have it perfect. It, it's like a one second ish gap. Um, this is when you activate the next one. And usually you're busy, busy jumping around or shooting off mobs and stuff like that. And you never see this one second difference. So for me, that's not a big deal. Technician. Technician is a skill power modifier 50%, meaning your skill does more damage. Self-explanatory. It's one of the most important. Uh, by the way, those mod mods are used almost everywhere so yeah you'll do yourself a favor if you level these up hp amplification max hp 227 percent and you lose shield we don't care about shield in this build in this descendant she's not a shield descendant she we don't care about shield so sacrifice is well made we don't care right so over here we have max hp which is bumping our hp by a ton that's why by the way if you have a lot of good double HP rolls on your components. This is going to stack up very well because they work together. The more HP base HP you have, the more uh, the 227% are going to bump up this uh, level. All right, the next mod that I have, and I started using this very recently, by the way, uh, front lines. This is a skill critical hit damage. So our critical hits do more damage, 64%. <clears throat> and the skill critical hit rate is increased by 27.7%. So you crit more often. Electricity skill power, 81%. This is one of the mods that is increasing your electricity skills. Again, your skills, bump, bumping up the damage of your skills. For mobbing, generally speaking, we don't care that much about survivability. Just one HP mod and one defensive mod will do the job for you. Uh, this mod over here, I just throw, threw in very recently because I don't have right now anything else to upgrade. I don't really care about the range that much anymore. Uh, this is just working perfect for me. So here we have, uh, I just threw this in for the extra 3% damage. I don't care about the critical hit resistance. Um, defensive mod, This uh, I have a, another one in case I want to play around uh, a little bit less uh, leveled. Uh, but here I have 135% increase on defense. Defense and HP are the two most important stats that you have for Bunny. Skill cost is minus 15%. This is also, you know, an interesting one to have in here. And now one skill that is really recommended for you to have, and it took me 10 hours to grind, 
Um, and yeah, this is MP Collector basically saying whenever you kill mobs and when you have a ton of when you, when you have tons of mobs, you're basically going to return mana. Now the issue with the mobbing build, if you don't have this, uh, when you're running, you're losing mana, right? And the only way you recharge your mana is if you pick up the blue orbs on the ground. Uh, you are going to be recharging your mana this way, but you don't get these dropped every time a mob dies. But what this mod is doing is basically it is re re giving you a 70% chance to return 12% of your mana, which is in most cases, if there's a lot of mobs, good enough um, to actually maintain your running, your second skill all the time, which makes this build even better because once you start build, playing bunny and if you have if you don't have mp collector you will know what i'm talking about when you just uh instead of sprinting instead of using your second skill you run out of mana you will be using your third skill but you will be slow boating you know not running very quickly just regular sprinting and it's not as quick as just um, you know if you have it the running on all the time this is a really recommended uh, module the way you find and grind uh, the in white knight gulch it is over here in this area uh, in this mission called borderline of truth 5% uh, chance on hard mode 3.5% on normal mode I highly recommend you get this as soon as possible this is going to make your life as a bunny way easier and way more convenient for mobbing not, not a big deal right here just I got MP Collector from Killing Devourer. I came here to show you how to kill the... I grinded 10 hours for this mod. And I just got it from killing the boss. Bossing build over here includes the Ultimate Bunny High Voltage mod. Um, this is what you've seen uh, also in the uh, beginning of the video where I was killing Devourer. Um, this is really increasing the damage and the reason why I really really like this uh, one is it changes your third ability. So when I'm running over here with this mod on, if I turn it on I don't do this big circle around me anymore. Uh, it, as you can see, it just zips like the closest mobs uh, to you. But the cool thing about this skill is that it does it like in a sphere around you. It can hit any mob in any direction around you. So it, it basically picks up mobs everywhere. Even if the boss, let's say you're fighting a boss up there and you see those uh, ads that are flying from the boss, the mini mobs that the boss has spawned, you just need to jump once or even run below the boss and it... It picks up the, the mobs and they just pop. The other thing, good thing about this skill is that it has also tons of damage. Now you don't have that much AOE anymore, but you actually do tons of damage. Um, and my crits can go up to 600k. Nimble fingers doesn't change. Technician doesn't change. A HP amplification doesn't change. This doesn't change. Electric specialist doesn't change. This doesn't change. Um, time uh, skill cooldown. Um, now, the reason why I throw this in is I, I want to be sure that I have my cooldowns, you know, as slow as possible because I'm also using my one ability uh, as much as possible um, in, in boss fights um, and also gives you a little bit on top HP. I used to be super tanky. I used to build bunny um, close to 14k HP with uh, with the HP amplification and I used to build her with uh, additionally with max HP. Uh, and I've noticed that that's actually overkill. It's a little bit too much. Um, and I removed this one. Um, I also rock additionally to the 135% defensive. I also put here uh, spare and shield, which is giving you an additional 38% uh, defense on top and a little bit of skill power. Uh, which bumps up additionally my damage over here in case I need to do more damage. And with the bosses, you want to do more damage. And the other very important mod that is that I also got super recently is actually HP Collector. 
HP Collector basically gives you the ability, the moment you kill ads in a boss fight, they heal you up. There is a chance that they can heal you up. And in most cases, while you are running and you have your high voltage on, let me spawn some mobs and let me show you that killing mobs with the HP Collector is sometimes healing you. So two, two modules that I highly can recommend, one of them is AP MP Collector for mobbing. This will keep your mana up, so that means you can almost infinitely sprint all the time uh, and run fast with your second ability. And over here, the two mods that I really, really, really highly recommend, one of them is HP Collector, the second one is High Voltage. Now High Voltage, again, it's only an ultimate exclusive. If you have regular bunny, that's fine. Uh, you will just not be, um, you know, so um, it, you will have a different type of skill. That's it. You don't have that much damage um, for boss fights, but for mobbing, you'll be still be super good. Um, and if you don't have high high uh, voltage, uh, you get it from killing hard mode pyromaniac. The very important one of the life changing modules that I acquired also like a week ago, midair maneuvering. This thing changed my life. I, I swear, like this this thing by just playing bunny, even without high voltage, this is just a game changer. Because if we talk about bunny again, right? You run and you use your third ability, you have this big range that is going around you. With, with this maneuvering over here, you can see that I can make this like a 3D, <laughs> like a 3D skill, basically also clearing everything around me, on top of me and etc. Now with the regular hook, you can only grab certain areas and surfaces and stuff like that. But with the mid-air maneuvering, this is basically giving you so much freedom and mobility. It's just crazy. You just zip from one place to another. You can even, you, you just feel like a high voltage Tarzan that is just flying around and killing every single thing you just you can even swing you you it's so much fun this is what this is if I have to rank if I have to rank mid-air maneuvering MP collector and HP collector it would be mid-air maneuvering HP collector MP collector those three mods are just game changing super important but if you have none of those three, I highly recommend you get midair maneuvering first and get it max level. It also increases your uh, capacity. So in order for you to have more capacity, you need to energy activate one energy activator and you need to have this equipped. If you don't have a maneuverable maneuver, um, if you don't have either this or multi maneuvering or long distance maneuvering, uh, just go with any of the sub attack modules uh i i was running with dual claw for the longest i was equipping it just for the plus 10 capacity um just to have it on but yeah just just go with any of these until you get any type of maneuvering uh in the game i this is really really important if i missed something in this guide if i missed something uh, in general um let me know in the comments below i would really appreciate your support if you like subscribe and maybe even share this video um i hope it was useful and i will see you in the next video